how do we know we're right about the age of the Earth? We know this from radiometric dating, will be the answer you get from scientists. So the question tra transforms into how do we know radiometric dating works? I'm going to briefly discuss this topic, but I'll try to steer clear of the hard mechanics of radiometric dating. That quickly becomes very technical and extremely boring, in my opinion. Also, creationists tend to cite examples of very shoddy work to show the loopholes of the technique, apparently completely ignoring the fact that scientists are aware of these so-called loopholes and take them into account when they date. Anyway, radiometric dating works because atoms decay in predictable patterns. Why am I so sure? Because if atoms didn't decay in predictable patterns, that would mean that nuclear bombs wouldn't work, or if they did work, they would certainly be a lot less safe to handle than they are. If we're wrong about radiometric dating, that means we're also wrong about the atomic theory, and this would make nuclear power plants impossible. Nuclear power plants are really just nuclear <coughs> bombs under control. Using rods of metal to absorb radioactive particles, whether alpha or beta radiation, the fission can be controlled. If we didn't know exactly how atoms decay, we would either use too many, and the reac reaction would simply stop, or too few, resulting in a meltdown or a nuclear explosion. In reality, this only happens very rarely, and only by a human or mechanical error, not ever because of errors in the theory behind it. So we know for a fact that atoms decay predictably. Thus, radiometric dating works. And this proves, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that the age of the Earth must be, at the very least, four billion years. Young Earth creationists, you can eat my decaying atoms.